Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today, gonna be talking about the MLB draft. Gonna have a bunch of videos upcoming on the draft. And today we're gonna get right to the cream of the crop with my top 10 available players in the 2024 MLB draft. And keep an eye out for more videos coming up. I'm gonna be talking about the top pitchers, top hitters, some of the dark horses that are available, some of the best talent outside of the Power Five, some of the best talent in Division Two. All these videos are gonna be coming up here in the next couple weeks as we prepare for the draft. But I decided to start with the best, my top 10 players available in the Major League Baseball 2024 draft. If you want my full list, I got over 200 players already on it. Check out the link in the description over at humbabybaseball.com. You can check out my complete list of a bunch of prospects. But today we're just talking about the top 10. And we'll just get into it. Starting at number 10, I've got Vance Honeycutt outfielder North Carolina he was drafted by the Giants in 2021 out of high school but he decided to go to college and he just instantly became a sensation at North Carolina breaking their single season home run record hitting 25 home runs this dude can run he stole 29 bases that year that kicked off a three-year career that included 65 bombs 170 RBIs 76 steals and an OPS over a thousand Honeycutt can play defense. He won consecutive conference defensive player of the year awards. The only question mark is his ability to hit for average. He did hit 318 this season. But he's got some swing and miss in there. Struck out 83 times in 255 at bats. But other than that, he's got all the potential in the world. He could be a future gold glover. 30 plus stolen base threat. Big time power hitter. The only concern, like I said, is his hit tool and whether or not he'll be able to hit consistently at the higher levels. Number nine, Cam Caminetti, left-handed pitcher, outfielder, first baseman, Saguaro High School. His last name is recognizable, and it's no coincidence. Cam Caminetti is the cousin of former Major League Baseball star Ken Caminetti. He's one of the brightest and youngest players available in the draft. He'll be just 17 years old. Caminetti is a two-way player who could end up as a hitter, pitcher, or maybe full Shohei Otani and do both. Most likely, he looks like he'll be a pitcher. He can hit triple digits on the fastball. It's got excellent movement. He's got solid command for his age especially. He can throw in a six slider and curve, and he's got a ton of confidence with his fourth pitch, a deadly changeup. He went 9-0 and with a 0.93 earned run average this year. He strikes out over two batters per inning in high school. And he's also got a sweet swing. He can hit line drives all over the field. He hit 493 with an OPS over 1500. His numbers are through the roof. It's going to be really interesting to see how he does in the pros, but he also might go to college. He is currently committed to LSU. Number eight, Hagen Smith, left-handed pitcher, Arkansas. This is the SEC Pitcher of the Year. He was one of the top high school arms in Texas, but made clear that he planned on going to Arkansas. So nobody drafted him. And at Arkansas, his draft stock only grew. He went 7-2 and two as a freshman with a 10.5 per 9 strikeout ratio and has only gotten better every year since then. This year, he struck out 17.3 batters per 9 with a 9-2 and two record and insane 2.04 ERA. That's against SEC hitters. He has the best pure stuff of any arm in the draft. He throws a fastball that can approach 100 and he's got a deceptive slider that's almost unhittable. He has a variety of other pitches as well, a splitter, a cutter, and he has a funky delivery that makes it really hard to pick up the ball. His command can be a little shaky at times, but it's more than good enough, and it should only get better as he enters the pros. And this is a guy who could skyrocket through the minors and make his big league debut very, very soon. Number seven, Nick Kurtz, first base, Wake Forest. He was a two-way player out of high school, but he has made it very clear that he is a hitter. He forced his way into the lineup as a freshman and hit 338 with 15 homers and then just kept getting better. And eventually he was considered a possible first overall pick. He has elite bat speed and a launch angle that is made for home runs. He has a great knowledge of the strike zone and just puts up insane numbers. In 2023, Kurtz hit 24 homers and then 22 more this year. He doesn't chase a lot of pitches. And he has an incredible eye. He has 78 walks this year and 189 in his career, more walks than strikeouts. 
At first base, he plays elite defense. He's an absolute vacuum cleaner. And he has a plus arm, which is why he was recruited originally out of high school as a pitcher. The only tool that isn't elite is his speed, but he is a smart base runner. He stole 11 bases in college and was caught zero times. So he has a high baseball IQ, impressive size, and nearly every tool in spades. No weaknesses offensively that can be discerned. And he has the ceiling of an absolute superstar. It's hard to envision him being anything less than at least a productive everyday player in the big leagues. Number six, Connor Griffin, outfield, Jackson Prep. Outfielder Connor Griffin is the most complete high school player available in the draft. He has a powerful bat aided by a six foot four frame and advanced approach. He absolutely demolished high school pitching. This year he hit 559 in 43 games with a monstrous 690 on base percentage. He has big power, high batting average, plus speed, intelligent base runner, could be a 30-30 guy, maybe even 40-40 if the team he lands on lets him actually steal bases. He's a plus defender in the outfield and he can also play the infield, so he's very versatile and he can play shortstop if needed. In the pros, he'll find his spot, probably center field where he can cover the most ground. He's got a great arm. And that's why he can also pitch. He can hit 96 as a pitcher. So Connor Griffin is basically the complete package. He's already committed to LSU, but if he's taken high enough, there's a good chance he's going pro. Number five, Braden Montgomery, right-handed pitcher slash outfielder, Texas A&M. Premier college power hitter Braden Montgomery made a name for himself at Stanford, where he smashed 35 bombs, several clutch postseason home runs as well. And he was considered a good hitter coming out of high school but he quickly developed into one of the best and one of the biggest home run threats in the country at Stanford. And after transferring to Texas A&M, he took it to another level this year, crushing 27 homers and less than 300 at bats. He has excellent plate discipline, worked 122 walks in his career, leading to a 428 on base percentage. And he's a switch hitter. He can hit opposite field home runs as a righty or lefty. He occasionally chases pitches, but is mostly a complete hitter with very few weaknesses. As an outfielder, he is excellent. He plays great defense. He's got a strong arm, which is why he can also pitch and occasionally does pitch. On the mound, he struck out 12.7 batters per nine in his college career, but he'll likely be a full-time outfielder in the pros. But if, for whatever reason, it doesn't work out as a hitter, teams will have the option to try him on the mound as well. Number four, J.J. Weatherholt, infield, West Virginia. One of, if not the most pure hitters available, J.J. Weatherholt had a historic 2023 season, hitting 449 with 16 homers and just 22 strikeouts all season long. He almost has as good of a chance of hitting a home run as striking out. So he was instantly considered a potential first overall pick in 2024. He's a left-handed hitter, uses the entire field to his advantage and has a knack for recognizing pitches and laying off anything out of the zone. If he swings, there's over a 90% chance he's making contact. Unfortunately, he struggled this season with a hamstring injury that kept him out of the lineup. He played in just 36 games, but still hit 331 with an OPS over 1,000 and almost twice as many walks as strikeouts. He's also speedy, stole 57 bases in his college career. He can play all over the infield, but will probably end up as a second baseman in the pros. He doesn't have the typical size of a big power hitter, but he has enough bat speed to hit over 20 bombs per season in the pros, and it's his pure hitting ability and elite pitch recognition that's going to propel him into the big leagues fairly quickly, in my opinion. Number three, Charlie Condon, third base, outfield, Georgia. An above average undrafted hitter out of high school, Charlie Condon went to Georgia, he redshirted 2022, didn't play at all, used that time to bulk up and build power. And then in 2023, he forced his way into that lineup, crushing a freshman record 25 home runs with a 386 average. And he has an incredibly compact yet powerful swing that results in insane exit vetoes. He uses his six foot six frame to create a ton of leverage and absolutely crushes baseballs all over the field. In 2024, he was somehow even better and started to get buzz as a potential first overall pick. Condon smashed. 37 home runs with a 433 average and 1,565 OPS. Ridiculous numbers. He doesn't walk a ton, but he still walks more than he strikes out. And he led all of Division I in multiple offensive categories, including slugging, batting average, home runs, total bases, 
and he plays solid defense. He has good speed, not great, but teams will draft Condon for his incredible bat and the possibility he will be a game changer at the big league level in the near future. He has a chance to be a multi-time all-star and legitimate big league superstar. Number two, Jack Caglione, first base, left-handed pitcher, Florida. Jack Caglione is six foot five, 250 pounds, a two-way player, and can pretty much do it all at a scary level. In 2023, he became one of the most dominant hitters in college baseball, crushing a D1 leading 33 bombs with a 323 average. And the only concern was that he walked just 17 times and struck out 58. This year, he completely flip-flopped on that, striking out just 26 times and walking 58, while improving his average to 419 and even hitting more home runs with a total of 35 this year. He cut down his chase rate dramatically, yet improved his power numbers and became the most feared hitter in the SEC, maybe in all of college baseball. He also plays solid defense at first, and of course has an extremely powerful arm that he used to start 34 games for the Gators. He went 12 and six with a 10.3 per nine strikeout ratio. His fastball is in the high 90s, it can touch 100, and even if he never picked up a bat in his life, he would probably be picked in the top 50 just as a pitcher. But when you combine his monstrous bat, Caglione enters first overall discussion and should easily go in the top five. Number one, Travis Bazana, second base, Oregon State. Travis Bazana is an Australian who formerly played in the Australian Baseball League, which he entered at the age of 15. He came over to the States and had a phenomenal freshman year, hitting 306. He stole 14 bases, had an OPS over 900. Little did anyone know he was just getting warmed up. And then last year, his bat exploded. He hit 374 with an OPS over 1100, clearly showing he was an elite college hitter. But what really made MLB scouts take notice was what he could do with the wood bat in the Cape Cod League. He hit 375 with six homers in 33 games, taking home the MVP award. And now that he had the attention of every team, he cemented himself in 2024 as a top five pick, showing amazing power, a compact swing, an advanced approach, and he hit 407 with 28 home runs. If you watched an Oregon State game in 2024, there was about a 50% chance Travis Bazzano was gonna go deep. He's also a plus runner, above average defense at second. He stole 66 bases during his career, getting caught just 10 times. Bazzano is just an all around talent who has a chance to become one of the best left-handed hitting second baseman of all time. Although there haven't been a ton, Chase Utley comes to mind, but Bazzano will be a possible first overall pick because of his ridiculous power, which he proved he could do with a wood bat, an elite hit tool, amazing speed, solid defense, he can do it all. He's one of the most well-rounded hitters available in the draft and my personal number one overall 2024 MLB draft prospect and that is it for the top 10 draft prospects in 2024 for me i know there's a lot of great ones just missed out on the top 10 check out my list like i said we'll be talking about all of them chase burns obviously carson binge who i'm hoping the giants get around 13 tommy white from lsu just so many great players this year and a lot of underrated guys who have not gotten near enough attention that they deserve we'll be talking about them as well like roman coons who hit 33 bombs this year and drove in 100 runs local guys like charlie bates like Nate Stokum, outfielder from Western Carolina, who crushed 20 home runs this year with an OPS over 1,000. And we're going to be talking about all kinds of prospects like this, so keep an eye out. Can't wait to talk about them. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want these to see these videos popping up over the next couple of weeks as we get ready for the MLB draft. And you can also check out my MLB Prospects channel called Hum Baby Prospects, where I put individual videos of everyone on my entire top 300 list, which I'm still working on, but it'll be done by the draft. You guys have a great day. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and we'll talk to you in the next one.